how's everybody doing out there today? It's 7, almost 8 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10-13-2020. Market, 362 billion on the climb up. Uh, BTC is up 2.28% at 11.525. ETH is at 3.85, up 4.84. And XRP at almost 26 cents, up 3.1%. So a very good day going on for the last 24 hours in 15 billion for the daily. So you can see in the graph right here in the center, almost the center. Yeah, it is the center right there. See it climbing up. And let me get this out here. There, there we go. Let me get that and do this because we don't need interruptions. I like the guys and girls in that group, but we must keep this going smoothly. So anyway, can't be distracted. You got the market doing well with that 15 billion up click right there. Then some news. Everybody's been waiting. Anybody that watches my channel, to for the most part, for the main viewers of my channel, um, out of the almost 9,000 subscribers, you've got a f few of you who are interested in Apollo currency, aren't you? And Apollo fintech. Uh, the, all the updates that Steve put out um, in the last little bit, last few days, on all the things like Stratus, Knox Bank, Knox World Pay, so much at one time coming out and also United Allied States. He gave an, uh, basically an update on that. But before I get there, about 24 hours ago, he put in the link into the main Telegram group to register for the Knox Bank. So that link is right here. Um, and basically what you do is you put in your information once you, right here, hit the sign up, do that, put in your information, basically it's your name, address, your visa number, or your license number. Put that in, submit it. Then once they process, they will email you and let you know you're all set. And keep in mind this is all beginning with everybody registering, so the emails will come out in time for letting you know you're all set. 99.9% .9 excuse me of you guys that are doing this are going to be approved. So that's pretty cool. That's exciting. With the United Allied States coming out, and everything that they're working in the background to get done. Here's an update from Steve showing a couple things. Okay, quick update on the UAS. This came out just a little while ago. We have been given diplomatic access, access to our First Nation, which has been in lockdown. The only thing we've been, we have been waiting on is a clearance letter from the South African government that would allow me to come back after the meeting. We've had two big meetings that with two separate countries. Um, that have a strong interest to set up sovereign economic zones. I and the team will be traveling to those nations after we return from this island. Once we have this letter, we should have any new, we shouldn't have any new travel issues. Okay, so we have a few official partnerships that will be announced in the coming weeks. With, with companies that will be setting up. Sorry to laugh, but I'm just putting this out there and let to see if anybody picks up anything in the in the statement, okay, that he's put out there, and then I'll give you some excitement, okay, and maybe I should just say it, okay. Did anybody pick up? He said he was coming back from an island. <laughs> well, hey, hold on. What is that, huh? So we have a few official partnerships to be announced in coming weeks that companies that will be setting up essential infrastructure in the first state. Also, what I just mentioned here. So that's exciting stuff also too with this piece here. The Securities Clarity Act is simple, logical, and bad news for lawyers like me. That Securities Clarity Act, Brad Garlinghouse put out his opinion on it, and so many others did. And Brad, with his breakdown of what his points were in it, back and forth. One part of it was he was stating that if they have to move out of the United States, they will. And that's not saying they're, they're going to do that, but if they have to move out because of these regulations and all this stuff that the SEC is putting out, yeah, um, he would take the company out of the United States. So then I interjected on or Twitter, Apollo Core, Apollo under, under slash Core, that he should take it to the UAS 
eh, if he decides to move. That is wrong. The United United States are run on a blockchain. <laughs> okay, I have we'll have the national currency as a yeah digital currency. And but I didn't put that in there. But I did say to contact Steve and give him the United United States website and the latest article about how the United United States is going to work. So giving him some information and giving the and I'm not saying I am not saying that he is going to do that. No. Um, but is there a chance he could and, and would? Uh, because once he finds out about it, yes. Uh, if he was forced out of the United States because of regulations. Um, but then the main point, too, is to get the XRP army familiar with the United Allied States. Spreading the word. Because you know as well as I do, they all check out his tweets. So you got that. <clears throat> Financial authorities around the world team up for CBDC rules. <laughs> This piece here, by 2022, okay, well, guess what? By the end of 2022, they aim to bring regulations by the end of, I'll say it one more time, by the end of 2022. Apollo Currency currently is working with national payment platforms, with CBDCs, basically setting up everything with different countries right now. And they're going to have it in place. So by the time that everything is in place and these people are doing these pilot programs are now full-fledged, and they're out there being used by these banks, the landscape of CBDCs is going to be changed by Apollo Fintech. They will look and see what's being done by Apollo Fintech's national payment platform and then correlate everything to run like that. That's the ticket because it's the best way to do it. And once you see it in action, which you can check it out on YouTube on Apollo Currency's channel, you can see it in action. Okay, IBM has come out with a app for health. Yes, <clears throat> for the COVID issues. IBM Watson Health, a healthcare focused arm of the tech giant IBM, is launching the IBM Digital Health Pass, a blockchain based app to support global organizations and companies as they start to reopen after months of lockdowns. So you got that. And of course, re reopenings, that's going to slow down. If you look at what's happening around the world in Europe, United States, uh, things are surging right now, unfortunately. So lockdowns and that type of thing in some areas of the world. Whew. Okay, Ripple CTO reveals he made a $15 million mistake. David Schwartz said he sold 40,000 Ethereum in 2012 for just $1 each. That stash would have been worth millions. How many of you out there have horror stories of you selling Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP? Um, like say you sold XRP back when it was 20 cents back in 2000, early 2017 or late 2016. And it zoomed up to almost $4 in 2017. If you had a bunch of them, you sold them. It sucked, okay? BTC, I sold a bunch of BTC way before that, and I'm like a jerk, okay? Um, and I have more horror stories about that type of thing. And I bet you a lot of you guys have it out there. Down below, if you want to mention them, everybody reading would like to hear about it. Tyler Winklevoss believes Bitcoin will be our only refuge in the future. <laughs> Tyler Winklevoss and his brother are cool dudes, but I'll tell you one thing, it's not just Bitcoin, and it won't be just Bitcoin, and I'll just leave it at that, okay? There's other things that are bigger and better than Bitcoin in regarding their utility and their asset value because of their products tied to the coin. Yep. Am I describing Apollo currency and GSX? I think I am. GSX link is down below to take part of the pre sale which is coming down and clicking down to the end. So everybody, lock and load on that. That's a stable coin that doesn't go down in value, but goes up in value from reinvesting. Spain is working on a bill to force crypto holders to disclose assets and gains. I wouldn't think they're going out trying to target what you have right now as what you're holding. I don't think so. If they are, they're stupid. It's, what you, it's when you sell it and you gain the profits, like in the United States, capital gains. Then that's what they were looking looking for to tax, and they want to tax. So many people are doing crypto, they want to tax it. 
The Apollo Currency page on the Apollo Fintech, APLFintech.com, has a bunch of the stuff in the center which you can check out. Partners, white paper, tech paper, roadmap, and comparison chart. When you go to the partners, it gives you some of the new stuff that's popped in. Netcoins, Aircoins, BitFi, Team McAfee, <laughs> Vimana. Vimana was their first actually, um, and that's drones, human-sized drones helicopters ETC ADF group Africa this is what broke Apollo went to Africa back a year plus ago um, and that the agreement that the ADF group signed with Apollo saying they were the obvious choice to have the ADF group recommend to all the governments in Africa to use a, Apollo currencies company Apollo foundation at the time and now it's Apollo fintech so ladies and gentlemen you got that and you got Sovereign Union, which is the new national payment platform company that signed on with Apollo. They have a second one and a third piece that's coming out shortly. So you can see that and check it out. So, so much, like I said, coming out. Good to see that Steve gave the update on um, UAS. A lot of that came out before, but <clears throat> it's just something he's giving an update on where it stands right now. And did I miss you got Stratus coming out shortly you got that you also got um, of course you know the Knox Bank when that full fledged goes out the website's going to be out in about two weeks Steve said for the website so you can log in all have everything and keep in mind too Knox Bank is regulated in the United States and in parts of Europe and the United Allied States so when you have this piece available to you and crypto is cool yeah you're going to see more and more about Knox Bank shortly um, for that. So Apollo Fintech has a bank, okay? They have two exchanges, Knox Global, Knox VIP.com. A third exchange built in their all-in-one wallet. <laughs> they have agreements signed around Africa and beyond. The Pacific Islands for the national payment platform the countries around the world like Saudi Arabia Jamaica and others are checking out the national payment platform think about what's going on um, the United Allied States for the states Steve's talking about right now the two new ones those are not including the four that they've been working on for the last six months yeah so there's more and more adding to it I had made an estimation that by you know Christmas time and after there would be probably a little bit after there'd be about eight to ten states and I bet you there's gonna be and we're not talking like a tiny piece of land we're talking square miles of a lot of square miles that countries have signed over to Apollo to, um, to take care of business so everybody have a great one and let me just get the out piece here if there's oh I want to put this out here too this is just an example of what the piece is going to look like in uh, Lesotho for Knox World Pay. Uh, they're going to be doing the Knox World Pay and possibly the NPP. This features the NPP stuff, um, but it's just an explanation. They, they will be launching Knox World Pay in Lesotho um, in this quarter, most likely. Okay, NPP, no set date on it. So, just an example of what it looks like. <laughs> a lot of stuff they are working on, a lot of countries they're working with. Everybody have a great one, and I'll talk to you with any breaking news shortly.